Ice fish tank will be your first activity on the day of your exam. Uh, it is planned as a first activity out of your four activities of your listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Uh, the time for reporting is uh, 10 to 12. That's the report time. You have to report at AEO or British Council uh, for academic training and general training tests. And your listing test usually starts at uh, 1 p.m. sharp. There is one note that you can see down the page. Can somebody read it out loud? I should like to try read it. In case of any emergency back home on the day of exam and you are there in Stormwatch, everyone for your listening. Do not attempt listening test. Just inform AEO and at Royal so we could transfer your exam date. Remember, in case of, in case if you if will you appear in one scale of listening, they will neither transfer your date nor will let you complete your test. Date. So in case of, of any emergency back home. You think that you will not be able to complete your rest of three skills, so you don't have to sit in the exam. So you can report them and you can call us back so we could transfer your date, but that will be in emergency. And for transferring of the date, they may charge you some. That, that will be a small amount that they'll charge from you. But do inform them first. If you're attempting your listing test, like uh, for about five minutes or ten minutes, that it's come to know that you have to now leave for your home. So it means that your test day is over. This thing will be uh, conducted using the headphones. There will be the wireless headphones they will provide you. The environment will be uh, like they will have a hall. And in, those, in that hall, there will be different types of uh, chairs and uh, with the tables in front of you. So you will have that comfortable environment to sit on. Before the start of your listing, they will have a test audio. Test audio is the audio that will be like for a few seconds or could be a few minutes that to let you check the quality of the sound if you think the quality of the sound is okay you can you can uh, proceed with that otherwise if you have any, if you're having any distortion or any problem with the sound you can complain them immediately instead of complaining them in the middle of the test that would be better then if you could complain them at the start so they could replace those headphones for you Test uh, never allows you to have some cheating. If you do so, they can take out your question paper for like uh, one or two minutes or three minutes or probably for four minutes. And then you can imagine that situation that you have, you have taken out uh, your, you have taken your question paper and you're sitting in the examination hall and the audio is on and what feeling you could have at that time. So you don't have to. Think of the cheating in the exam. Uh, you will see that the academic training and the general training students will sit together. Uh, if you are the academic training student, you are giving your academic training test, and uh, he could be the general training student. So all these students could be, and they, they will be in the same room. Because listening is an activity that will assess the abilities of the candidate uh, equally for both uh, academic training and general training students. It really takes about 30 to 35 minutes. This is an approximate time. Uh, you never know that how much your tape skip will take, how much time that the tape skip will take. It could take even 25, 30, and around about 30, 35 minutes. The good thing about listening is that you'll always provide 10 extra minutes that you don't have in your reading. Usually, we think about that we have extra 10 extra minutes in listening. So we can have the same time in reading to transfer our answers from the question paper to the answer sheet. That will not be for your reading. So what you need to do, you can have your answer sheet with you. Uh, you can transfer your answers immediately as you find them on your reading side of your answer sheet. But you don't have to do for your listening. You can simply focus on your listening. You can focus on reading the questions to understand them. And then you can put your answer sheet beside you. And at the end of your test, you can take it. And then speaker will say, now you have 10 minutes to transfer your answers from your question paper to the answer sheet. That's the right time to transfer for your answers. Okay? If you're doing it before, it means that you're wasting your time. Because you already will have this time later on at the end of your test. 
So when the last time you had listing? When the last time you had listing? Yesterday. Last night. Today. 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 Yesterday. Day before yesterday. Okay. Could be a week ago. Could could be a yeah. year ago. So as you listen, the more you listen, the better your listing will be. This is what I told you in your reading. The more you read, it is same for the other skills. The more you speak, the same for the speaking. And if you listen more, it means that uh, you are focusing on the listening and you're giving more time to your listening. So you can improve your listening. So the more you listen, the better your listening will be. So there are four sections. We can say four parts in the test of your listening. And these four sections uh, will have 40 questions in that. So the question types could be like, um, uh, there are different types of questions, but uh, there are set of questions. Uh, you may have uh, questions one to five in one set of questions. There could be question six to 10 in the second set of question. So usually you are uh, given about 30 seconds before each set of question to read them. Therefore, they give you 30 seconds more to read your answers or to check your answers. So it means that you really have one minute before and after. Okay. Same is with the second set of question. We'll have a 30, 30 seconds before and 30 seconds after. So it's all about utilizing your time positively. If you are sure about your answer that you have not made any mistake in your answers, so you can simply move to the next set of questions instead of reading that or instead of checking for your answers. If you are sure about your answers that you have not done anything wrong, you can move further. You can move yourself forward. So similarly, you can uh, shuffle that timing. It's not mandatory that you have to spend these 30 seconds for reading these questions. Uh, you may have less difficulty level, or you can say that the difficulty level will be lower as compared to the second, third, and fourth parts, or third and fourth sections of your highest listening. So when you will have easy questions, you will require less time to read them. Uh, for example, if uh, it's written name, uh, telephone number, okay, license number. So this could this could be the easy words to read and to understand. You don't need too much time for that. If you have read them, you can simply forward, take yourself forward, and you can read out the other questions you have. So reading questions effectively is always the key. Okay. So if you have uh, not understood the question, it means that you will never be in the position to listen that or you to give the answer of that. So you can do this uh, for the rest of the other sections. It means that we have one minute here and one minute here. There are like two minutes in the section one and so as for the rest of the three sections. It makes about eight minutes in total to read the questions and to, to to read the questions first and to check your answers later. Okay, so we, there will be like eight minutes. So there will be exactly 40 questions on the day of your exam. Sometimes we have like 41, 42 questions in different books, but uh, we will have 40 questions actually. So these questions are divided in these four sections. Uh, like uh, we may have like uh, 10 questions in section one. Then we can have 11 questions in section two. There could be nine questions in this section three and could be, there could be same numbers for the rest of the set of the questions. Listening will be once only. So if you think that listening will be repeated or they will repeat your listening, so just take it out from your mind. They're not going to repeat anything. If you have made any mistake, you have missed anything. So what we say in English that there is no need to cry over spilled milk. Okay. So if you miss missed one question, you can simply move further or you can move ahead. Increase in difficulty. 
In part one, you will see the type of questions are comparatively easier to solve and to read and understand. And as you move into second part and the third part and the fourth part, it increases in terms of the difficulty. Uh, there will be uh, complex MCQs, there will be more data, there will be more words and it will be comparatively difficult to give the answer. So first section is always important. Uh, that sets the base for your score that you are looking for. Somebody is looking for 7 and uh, you have like 11 or 10 or 11 questions in section 1. And how about if you have uh, missed 3 or 4? The section 1 which is easier and you are just taking yourself in the section 2 and 3 therefore and you are uh, hoping that you will get maximum score out of that but the question types are difficult. If you have made 3 or 4 mistakes it means that out of the next 30 questions uh, there should be like uh, 20 correct questions out of 30 there should be 20 correct questions uh, and if you are looking for 6 bands okay. and if you are looking for band 7 so you need to score 30 plus as a whole and the margin of error is too little if you are already making 3 or 4 mistakes in the first section uh, how about making mistakes in the other sections if you make too many mistakes that this score will go down and uh, the 7.5 uh, will be at 32 out of 40. If your score will be 30 out of 40, your score will be 7. If your score will be 32 out of 40, your score will be 75. So we've got the band calculator over there. You can also find it from the Google as well. You can type it down that uh, IS band calculator. You can put your score in that and then with that uh, type of module you have, listening, either is reading and the calculator will count the number of bands you have got against the correct score you have. So what are the question types? There are different types of questions, Main, mostly there are the type of questions you have uh, in the reading, it could be the same but there are some questions that you will not have them, such there are uh, similarity in the MCQs, there are MCQs questions you can have in, in your reading as well as you have you can have them in your listing. So, but we will not have uh, any headache questions over there. Okay. There will be labeling. Labeling is like That's the aluminum Coca-Cola can. There might be uh, two students that are discussing about a project or assignment probably. They are uh, going to complete, they want to complete at university. And they are going to write something about the uh, aluminum Coca-Cola can. And they are going to figure out or uh, they are going to spot the different points uh, or features of this Coca-Cola can. So you can see that they have dragged down some of these lines from the center, from the top, from the bottom and then they discuss that what is this area called and what is this area called and what is this, this area called, this called labeling. MCQs you know them, 1, 2, 3, uh, they are uh, A, B, C or could be B, there are 3, 4 options. Uh, you need to be careful about uh, types of MCQs that where they are, they are written, they are really right, uh, choose two. They tell you the instruction, they choose two options. So when they say this, the options could be A, B, C, D, E, so there could be more options in that. In MCQs, usually you have to choose one letter. And in reading, I've told you that what you have to write on your answer sheet. You need to write only A, B, or C, D. Okay? So in this case, uh, you will have to choose two letters that you have to write in the boxes, or if it's a uh, 
question number uh, 33 and 34. It means the answer sheet, the box of your answer sheet, if it's like uh, 33, 34, then you can write down B and D. It could be even D or B. Still, your answer result will be correct. So we need to take care of this. If uh, they are they are telling you to choose two out of that case, then obviously you have to choose. If you choose one, so there your one answer will be correct only. The pictures these here they are not giving too many pictures. In the old uh, Cambridge Dialects books, you could see uh, different types of pictures, but uh, still you never know that what they can give you in your exam. So you have to understand the picture. Uh, whenever you have picture in front of you, the right side of the picture, your right side is also the right side of the picture as well. Your left side is the left side of the picture as well. It's not like that you're having a position like this and you're saying this is the right side, right side of the picture, as this is my left side. No. Whatever you see in front of you, that's the top, that's the bottom, that's the left, that's the right, that's the top right, that's the top left. Bottom right, bottom left, center, that's the same as you look at. Okay. So we also have the diagrams. There are different diagrams you can see. You can have the, so in book one is you could see butter, salt, and I guess one more thing that on the top of the pyramid. That's a kind of a diagram there. I couldn't make it exactly. So in the middle shelf uh, there was fish and eggs and bread and some other things like that and in the down on the left on that pyramid so uh, I could remember that they were vegetables and fruits and things like that so that be question number for the 35 36 37 so they say these are the things that you you have to write. These are the things that you need to use them in the, in the moderation. These are the things that you need to use them a lot. Okay. So this is the diagram that you can have. Uh, maps are really important. These days they are giving you a lot of maps. And you can expect to have maps instead of uh, getting the diagrams and the pictures these days. You can have, you can expect to have maps these days instead of this. So map could be really confusing. Okay, now you are here, and you should understand that where they are starting from. Really, the point is mentioned, and even in the maps, uh, you could also see one more thing, that is the direction. Okay, so whenever you have directions, it should be northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. If something is here, that will be northeast will be southeast if something is there and same as the southwest it shouldn't be like uh, uh, east north west north okay you have to understand this like this so if you're here let's say just go down on the path and turn right obviously the turn right will be this side this is your right and this is next right as well how about this one and turn left go down and that path and turn left okay so if he says turn right and if you're looking for suppose administration office that's on your immediate right so which which one which one that will be turn right it will be on your immediate right the one lower side yeah the one that is here that's your immediate right if somebody is thinking Turn right, and this is on your immediate right. If you're looking for this, if you're now in this position, then be the left. Just go down the path, turn left, and it's on your right, suppose. So, which one will that be? Yeah. The one that is that is made that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go down the path, turn right, and then walk in that corridor. You see, as on the far side of the corridor, you see the administration office on the far side of the corridor. So that will be this one. 
So this is what we call far side of the corridor. Same as for the right left. And you, if you just go around this path, you see the administration office right in front of you. It need not even tell you to right, turn right or turn left. So it will be this one. Okay. So there are a lot, lot of similar diagrams. That uh, diagrams may involve uh, different types of uh, <coughs> winding road. They are connecting. They are getting connected with each other. Yes. There are a lot of places that may have made. Okay, so there could be a lot of confusion. There could be involvement of uh, the traffic lights, traffic system, banks, supermarkets, schools, and playgrounds parks, even a lot of other places like that. So first of all, you have to uh, just understand, mark the places that are already mentioned. If the bank is mentioned, if they are saying the bank is here, there might be another box here can, that you need to find out. So we'll have that detailed uh, listing on that, uh, book number uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There'll be a lot of maps in that. So we'll practice that. So, have we practiced that? Oh, no. I think one, one day we had that. Yeah. That is the most important thing that you have to do is to read out questions. Reading questions uh, is really important. Second thing. Can I have a book to have? So, can you read? Can take photos of the dash that surrounds the lake. That's the one thing you have read and you, you have understood the meaning. It means that you can take the photos of that something is around the lake. You've got the lake and something that we have around the lake, you can take the snaps of that. Okay. So we have understood that the reading and we have got the meaning of that. And that's the one thing that we have done. The other thing that we have to do is to understand the situation. Situation is like that, uh, you can expect to have a noun here. You can speculate that, you can guess the answer from there by having few options in mind. Uh, you can have this, that this could be fit, you can fit this on different situations. Not all of this in this thing. So what we can have in our mind, what could surround the lake? Mountains. Mountains. Three, three, three. Trees. What else? Morning and tree. This is what uh, could be grass land as well. Okay. So we have three or four options in our mind. That this is what the lake could be surrounded with. Okay. So then, therefore, we'll have these options in our mind, and we'll go for the listing and take it, and then uh, we can simply judge it from there, we can take the answer from there. And there will be comparatively easier than the other situation that we are in. And uh, there are a lot of other things that you can take as a visit. Okay, so visit can include a 40 minute trip on. Still, you can have a Singular noun are there. The article is there. The proposition is there. So we can have that are in our mind. And what? What is? Sorry. There will be ride. The four years ride on a dash. So what we can ride on? Ride on. Bike. Bicycle. Bike. Bicycle. Bicycle. Cycle, bicycle, a horse, 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 mule, elephant, even camel, camel, and elephant, elephant. So we can have these option in our mind. Mostly when you go on the trips for visiting, you don't have these things. You mostly uh, go for the horses and the mules and. Um, 
uh, sometimes on the elegance. But mostly uh, we just have these horse options. That's very common around the world. So we can have this as option. And there could be a horse. There could be a mule even. So this is how you can a even make your guesses. If you have missed any question, you want to make a guess, you can make a guess like this. Okay. So as I've told you in your reading lecture that there is no negative marking when you when it comes on transferring your answers on your answer sheet. So if you want to have a guess, so you can have a sensible guess instead of having a, you know throwing the arrows in the dark. You should come up with the sensible guesses. This is what the sensible guess could be or should be like. One more thing that okay, sorry. So that you can do. Uh, as I told you that you will be provided 30 seconds for the first set of the question that could be from question number 1 to 4 and 5 and once uh, you will complete your listening and therefore you will be provided 30 seconds that I have told you that is to check your answers and that's the time to put your guess in as well that's the time to put your guess in that why is this so if you come back after solving those 40 questions, there will be mess in your mind. You will not be in that position, you will not remember the situation that you had before. Now you are fresh with that situation, you just, just listened that seconds ago and that uh, knowledge is there in your mind. Suppose if you are confused between the option A and C and at the end of this, these 40 questions and you come back, you will be confused with A, B and C. Now, I was confused with option A and C. Uh, I was thinking that this this could be one of these could be the answers. And at the end, if you're coming back and you want to have your guess, you'll not be confused with A, A and C. You will be confused with A, B, C, and D. Okay. So these 30 seconds also allow you to put your guesses in time at the, at those right places. So there are a lot of pictures that we can have in uh, the earlier books of the Cambridge. So if you want to understand these pictures, there are some skills for you. That, as I told you that right and left is the same and the top and the bottom. And you can see that there are few things that we have a uh, name of the brand and you see the sketches above that. There is a sketch directly above. Okay? The opposite to that. From the right corner, left corner. Okay? So we call them buckles. We got one buckle, two buckles. Uh, and we can see that there's a woman that's standing. The question is that where was she standing when she lost her briefcase? So now you have to tell the place that where she was standing when she lost her briefcase. So understanding the differences between the pictures is important. How? That you can see in picture A, she is standing on the platform along with her briefcase. You can see also the train is there on the platform. In picture B, we see that she enters in the train along with her briefcase that nothing on the platform. In picture C, we see that the briefcase is on the platform. She probably forgot her briefcase and she is entering or she enters in the train empty-handed. We see in the picture D that she is standing along with her briefcase and there is nothing in the background. It means that she is waiting for the train and here she is entered empty handed. Here she is entering with the briefcase and she is on the platform with the briefcase. Usually we don't have the situation like this that once we have the train on the platform, we don't wait for that train. So this option, you can roll this out. You can roll it out. So in this listening, she says, I was standing on the platform I was standing on the platform. It means that it could be A and D. Because I was looking for my train. I was looking for my train. It means I was waiting for my train. I was waiting for my train. It means that she is there. She is waiting for the train. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that they can do uh, for the different question that once they have one answer, they can immediately change that. Once you are busy, with marking that question or answer, the answer of that question, they may change, they, they may change it immediately. 
Suppose we have a question here. What time was it when she lost her briefcase? We have different options on different wall clocks. So there are three, one or two approaches I would say. There are a few approaches that you can have. One is that you can uh, simply uh, just read out the read out this detail and then uh, just mark it immediately on that. But it's difficult to remember all this all this detail. That could be one. Another could be that you can simply have uh, those figures uh, that the number that he or she will have when she will tell the time. If she says uh, it was uh, 25 past 25 past 5, 25 past 5. I say 25, 25 past 5. It will be like this. And if she says it was half past 5, half past 5, half past 5, it means that I can write it like this, half past 5. So you will also see that they will create confusion and they are creating confusion. So you better know that if it's uh, like this, So how would you read this? Yes. Fifteen Quarter past five. Five. Quarter. Quarter. Sorry. Quarter past five. It's quarter past five. It could be even in MCQs. Uh, it could be A. It could be B. It could be C. She will not read. It was five fifteen when when the cafe closed. It was 5.15 when the cafe closed. The numbers are written in this form, in this format. She is saying that, okay, it was quarter past five. No, quarter past five, what is that quarter past five? So you should understand that what quarter past five is. How about this one? Uh, quarter to uh, six. Quarter to six. Okay. Quarter to six. How about this one? Half past five. Or a half. Half to six. Half past five. Okay. So in the wall clock, we see there's the past area from 12 to 6, and the onward from 6 to 12, there's a two area. We see these minutes have gone, and these minutes are left for this. It means that uh, there are like 20 minutes left for for 12 o'clock in say. Okay, uh, some students they write the options A, B, we have one more clock, B and C and D. So if you write, if you listen that if she says it's uh, 25 past 5 and you just uh, marking it out like this, meanwhile you are busy in that, she changes the answer, she says, oh sorry it was half past 5. You've already marked the answer and she changed the answer. And this will be a situation that you can expect to have in this thing. They can repeat that. They can confuse you. So it's all about your approach to the answer. You can approach the answer in different ways. One of the way could be you can read out these MCQs options and you can remember them in your mind. Another option that you can have uh, you can simply uh, see that okay, what are the things that are in common? So we have uh, here, uh, we have uh, papers, we have papers here. Okay. So as you see, there are like uh, two to three main nouns that I've mentioned here. There are two to three main nouns, three maximum I would say. Okay. So we have got wallet, we've got pens, uh, we've got novels, novels. And we got paper as well. So maybe there are three. How about if you write down like one, two, and three? You can expect that they will try to confuse you again. The word inside, it means that they can mention a thing that were not inside the briefcase. She might say, uh, thank goodness I had my wallet in my pocket, so I didn't lose that. 
So it's not inside the briefcase. So she said, thank goodness I didn't have my wallet in the briefcase. Thank goodness I had my wallet in my pocket. So I didn't lose that. So it means that she didn't have the wallet inside the briefcase. So we can simply draw this out with the wallet option. We can also call it narrow down your choice. You're narrowing down your choice. Now we have. Uh, uh, then she says, uh, "I've got some papers," uh, or she said, "I've got some important pens." So then you can write down the word pens here. Some papers, some very important papers. You can also write down papers. And novels to read in the train, then you can write down novels. So if you write down the answers like this, this could be helpful as well. If you're going for the other option, then MCQs could be uh, stretchy. It could be stretched out to some of the words. Now you can see that there are three or four words. You can have like 10, 11, 12 words in one MCQ option, and then we can have the same for the others. So in that, uh, this could be difficult to solve. So you can have this as for your convenience. So part one and part two, section one and section two, uh, may include or will include the dialogues and the conversations. You know that dialogues and conversations are easy to pick. Uh, you can expect that repetition in there. Sometimes they reconfirm that information that is shared by the other person. It could be comparatively easier to get the answer. When it comes on that session three and four, that involves the lectures, tutorials, and even the, the monologue. That is the form of that. One of the form that right now I'm giving the lecture. That's a type of monologue. So in the monologues, you don't expect the information will be repeated. So that is really included in the later sections or later parts of your uh, testing. So that's why we say it increases in terms of difficulty when the test progresses, progresses, the test will get difficult for you. How about the accent? You get the accent from around the world, not from the every country. So you see the accents from the North America. Australia, New Zealand, and Great Britain. So why this from North America? I've got some friends in uh, North America, they often complain that uh, the South Americans are difficult to pick. Even the Native Americans, North Native Americans, they are not in a position, they don't take the accent of the South Americans. So they are complaining about that. So you can expect to have a, a quicker accent, which is comparatively difficult to, to have in your listening. They don't make it impossible for you. They try to make it difficult, but uh, it will be not like that. So, listing these uh, accents from different countries like this uh, could also be helpful for you. This could be a good practice for you. Underline the keywords and the names in the questions. Now, in the answers, even got one option here. Uh, we have got the news headlines. That's on the book one. Section 2, question 11 to 30. And you can read this out in the instruction that take the three other news items which are mentioned in the news headlines. So there are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 options we have. So we've got only 30 seconds to read and to understand and to memorize this, which could be a difficult thing. The option one I've told you that you can read this out, memorize it out if you're super genius. That we are not. Option two, you can underline the nouns out of it, that we can see that uh, rivers, we can also see, that's the example, nurses. Nurses on strike in Denver, so we can underline nurses from there. Passengers rescued from ship, ship from, should be underlined. Passengers rescued from the plane, the plane should be underlined. That's the key word for you. 
bus and train drivers on the national strike threat. Bus and train drivers. So if you're expecting the same words, it could be transport workers. Could be a word, transport workers. If you're expecting that the bus and train driver, the words that will, that will be repeated like this, no. So it could be in the synonym or paraphrase form. Teachers demand more pay. So teachers are the key is the key word. So what we are doing, uh, we are now trying to underline the nouns out of it. So it means that we only have to uh, remember or memorize like uh, nine to ten words instead of number of lines. Before that, we were in the position we were thinking of uh, reading them all, all that information, and to memorize them all. So how about another method that I told you? You can simply note down the three loose headlines that I have mentioned. Still it could be difficult. How about only that if you just uh, note down the nouns out of it. If they are talking about the school children, you can have it like this. Teachers demand more pay, you can have it like this. Plane, if you are talking about ship or plane, you can write it like this. So it means that they have mentioned these nouns in the three news headlines. So you can have apply these tactics to overcome that uh, that challenge. Answers may be or may emphasized, repeated, or could be reconfirmed. <coughs> may emphasize mean sometimes they say if the question is uh, then you have to write up piece of work, or it say uh, then you have to write up your piece of work, or just record it. For example, a piece of work on a given topic, students must dash for 25 minutes. He says, uh, first there is a female that she said, now we have to write up uh, your piece of work for 25 minutes. The students must write for 25 minutes. And the man replies, I have to write for 25 minutes. I have to speak for 25 minutes. So whatever it is, so he says with the lot of emphasis, I have to speak for 25 minutes. And he says, I have to speak for 25 minutes. This is where he is emphasizing. If I say, then I have to write for 25 minutes. The emphasis is not on. I have to write for 25 minutes. The emphasis is on. Repeat it. Sometimes they repeat the answers. Like, uh, they say, all the people admired the skills of the pilot, but the pilot replied modestly, it was all the part of my day's work. Now, the word pilot has repeated twice in that. All the passengers admired the skills of the pilot. But the pilot replied modestly, it was all part of my day's work. So it means the word is repeated. So sometimes when the answer, the word that are repeated, uh, they are your answers. If you're not, you're not getting that, you can simply write down that word that has been repeated. Reconfirm, so they often say, what did you Say, what did you call? So they want the other speaker to repeat that for them. What did you call that section of the library? Closed reserve. What did you say that? What was the name of that? What did you call that? Could you please uh, spell that? Could you please spell that? Then the other person spells that. Write short answers or short notes. Write short notes. Like uh, if you are writing down the names of the weekdays, uh, if you are writing down the, suppose if he says Monday, Friday, and Saturday, 
if you have start writing uh, monday friday and saturday this will take like 6 7 seconds for you and the speaker may go on to the next question if you listen monday friday and saturday so you better know that okay what are the days like later on you can map them at 9 o'clock you can simply write down your notes like this spelling and grammar that's uh, really really important why so especially the spellings in speaking nobody checks your spelling but when you write you write task 1 and you are writing task 2 and even in your listening uh, it's a double hard work it's a double work that you have you have to listen that correct answer and therefore you will have to write it down with the correct spelling on your answer sheet as well you've got the right word but you're not writing it with the correct spelling it mean that's your mistake even vowel mistakes will not let you go with that if you're making vowel mistakes of a e i o u they can still cut that for you okay so we can have some uh, confused word like if you're writing i'll see you the next week i'll see you the next week how about if somebody is writing next week w e a k that will be incorrect yeah. so you should uh, always listen for the vowels there are five vowels and you should listen them carefully they are really having the sounds in the words if i say Slice, I. Slice of a cake. You need to look for the spellings, especially in listening, because you will have to do that double hard work, and the double check is required for your listening. You will have to listen the word. It's like uh, you will have to listen the the right word as an answer, and therefore you will have to transfer that with the correct spelling. So the first thing. to get to that word and the second thing is to write down with its correct spelling for this you can look at those vowels we need to look at for those uh, vowels when it comes on checking for the spelling so vowels are a e i o u if your if your spellings are incorrect it means that you will lose your pens so you need to look for the word that is starting from uh, these um, vowels and even the rows of the vowel in any word mostly words are from with uh, the vowels you often see that the words even in this text you see the most of the words having the, the vowels inside so uh you need to know their pronunciation and uh, their uh, role inside any word five right a word close so you just uh, can note down the pronunciation of the o close close five use the letter i i say slide slow sleep that's double e grammar is the next thing that uh, you need to look for students uh, think that they can get away with these uh, small mistakes but they do check out for these mistakes if you are writing the word computer and the answer is uh, computers so you are, you should make sure that you are writing or adding uh, 
these uh, uh, the, the words these words s or es at the end next point is that they confuse you with the numbers like uh, 17 70 13 30 19 90 and even 50 15 or 15 or 50 so if it's uh, 250 dollars 215 million dollars so there, there is a lot of difference between 215 and 250 so make sure you're not making such basic mistakes moreover they use uh, these confused words and uh, i just show you these confused words with you after this video so you can also uh, check those confused words in my video not to avoid those basic mistakes because these mistakes can take uh, uh, your 0.5 bands even the words like then, then, there, there, week, week, idle, idle, floor, floor and then there are a number of words that you can uh, write down the spellings and just make sure you're not making those basic mistakes so here we can see a list of uh, the confused words we have uh, the first word except accept access access and aunt bail bail so there are a number of words you see that the sounds are almost the same there are a lot of similarity in the sound but there is a difference uh, with when you mean them we have uh, birth, birth, bridal, bridal, break, break, canon, canon, cost, 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 cattle, cattle, sell, sell, check, check, side, side, trot, trot, fair, fair, feet, feet, floor, floor, Hail, hail, hair, hair, hole, hole, aisle, aisle, lion, lion, meat, meat, waste, waste, root, root, sail, sail, steel, steel, story, story, tail, tail, destiny, destination, fatal, faithful, hardness, hardship, permission, permit, pain, pain, peace, peace. So you see there is a lot of similarity when you speak the words P like peace and peace. Plain, plain, poor, poor, angle, angel, diary, diary. So see there is difference uh, when you use these vowels as I mentioned in that lecture is D A T T. It's diary. We have D I die di diary. Day di diary. Di diary. Week week accident. Incident. Opposite. Opposite. Principle. Principle. Prophet. Prophet. Pray. Pray. There. There, that's the mistake that students mostly make in the, their writing task one and writing task two, especially. So you need to look for these uh, confused words. Uh, you, this is in Urdu, but you can uh, find these the, the meanings in your own language that you belong to. Uh, you can make uh, notes with dictation skills where required. So you have a lot of space on your question paper. If you need to make uh, any notes with the lead pencil, so you can utilize that. But don't write too much on that. Do not rush and uh, don't be lazy either. Sometimes students, uh, they listen and then they feel that they have missed that part, but actually uh, that is not there yet. So you have to hang around, you have to be patient to wait for that and then uh, you just listen and then you can answer that. Uh, it may take some time like uh, 15 seconds and 20 seconds to come to that point. We've got a lot of, we've got a lot of examples in uh, 
all of these books. Don't be lazy either. So improve your writing and try to write quickly. And if you are just slowing down your writing and you're taking too much time of writing down a word, so it could be a mistake. And uh, meanwhile, if you're spending too much time on writing one or two words, so the, the speaker may go to the next word or next question, I would say. You can write anything including notes on your question paper. So sometimes uh, we listen from the, the students that they are not allowing the students to write too much on the question paper, but you can write some on your question paper. It is uh, required, it might be required in a situation when uh, you have lost, uh, you don't know exactly where the listening is going and you want to make some important points that the words, especially they are being repeated and you want to make the note of that, this could be really handy. Use your time appropriately. Uh, it's all about utilizing your time appropriately. You know, else you have that opportunity to shuffle your time. You can utilize the time that you provided to check your answers. And you can utilize that uh, to read the questions even. So if you're sure that you have written or you have chosen the correct answers, you don't have to check for the answer. That you can simply go further. You can you, you can move forward and you can read out the questions ahead of you. Next is final check and put your answers on your answer sheet. I uh, made a video a few days ago and I uh, shared the result of Kai that uh, wasn't my student but uh, he booked the date from our institution, from our institute. So he got uh, one man in listening, one man in reading and the mistake that he made on the day of exam that was uh, that he couldn't transfer the answers in the right boxes of the answer sheet even on the right side of his answer sheet. So he mistakenly transferred his listening answers on the reading side, reading answers on the listening side. So be careful about this because this is uh, this could be really devastating for you. There is no negative marking so you can feel free yourself to put your guesses where you like to. If you have missed any question, I have already shown that, uh, I already told you that how to put your guesses in. The guess time is always uh, on there when you are provided to uh, check your answers. The, the, the speaker says that now you have some time to check your answers. That is really the right time because once you come back after completing your test, you might be confused with some of the options. So do them as as you find that uh, time and don't prolong it on, don't delay them till the end. Do not write answers on the answer sheet while the test is in progress. That's another thing that you need to take care of because uh, students could be in a hurry. Once they find any answer for, the, for any question, they want to transfer that immediately on their answer sheets while uh, you are provided or you will be provided 10 extra minutes at the end of your listing test to transfer your answers from your question paper to the answer sheet. So you will not have this uh, facility or option in your reading test as you will have to find that you have to transfer that immediately as you find it. But don't do that in your listing test because this could be the waste of your time. 